That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> Get your ass on the couch, bruh! Clip that. Uh, so, beforehand, um, Chat, clip that. before we recorded Chat. today, we were at McDonald's, <laughs> as you do. You know, it's a it's a tradition here at Beer Sauce. We get a little quick fries, a little burger before we start recording, a little drink, you know? And um, then, <laughs> as we walked into McDonald's, Eric was like, dude, I have to poo kind of bad, but I'll wait until we get home. Right? I go, like, days without pooping sometimes now. It's bad. It's not good for you. Because, like, one time... I didn't have toilet paper for like two days. Like I, why well, I, I didn't have it in my toilet, like in my, my bathroom, but it was like in other places in my house, but I never refilled the toilet paper in my bathroom. And it was like two days. And I was like, wait, since I haven't refilled this toilet paper in two days, that means I haven't shit either. And then, but it's okay. Like it, it's not, I get bloated when I don't shit. Like I have a big ass stomach. Do you feel heavier when you don't yes. shit? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's weighing you down. <laughs> yeah. And like, but the belt has to be on like loose. Oh, the last because it goes like here. That's where it goes, right? Well, food goes there probably no. No, but what about where's poo go? In the stomach. If you have like, well, you, if you have so much poo, it stacks up, and then you're well. Do, do you lungs. get like a bigger ass when you have to poo really bad? Does it, poo stores in the butt cheeks? We no. can all agree on that, right? Whoa, that makes so much. So sense. like that's why people with big butts, like I don't know, a Kardashian, a yeah. they don't poo often because it fits in the butt cheeks. That's how Kim K got her big butt. Yeah. BBL. Yeah. Why well, get a BBL when you can just not poo? But anyways, I mean, I... <laughs> stepped in McDonald's. Stepped, well, I stepped in McDonald's and I had to poo. But I'm like a raining... Well, I'm washed. I used to be the holding poo in champion, right? So I would go to high school, 9 o'clock, PE. You, I would have PE in the morning sometimes. Beep test, 800 meter. Get the body moving. And... I was holding a poo in, go to math, go to science, eat lunch, fucking read a book, go home That's after insane. fourth block, and then poo. I used to be the champ. Now I'm washed, and like 20 minutes in the McDonald's, we were leaving, and I fucking... Yeah, so tw I gotta build this, because I saw this, like, I remember this, but from a third person's yeah. perspective, like, but bird eyes. you gotta eye understand, view. like, yeah, about where my confidence came from. Yeah, so you really thought you could hold it. Yeah. You thought you had to go really bad. So now we're walking out of McDonald's. We're walking out. We're just about to walk out, okay? And just as we're about to exit, Derek, Derek's so leading the path. stand up and show, like, the position that he did it in? Yeah, wait, make sure that your mic's also at your mouth, too. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, so, like, well, I'm going to... Actually, yeah, stand, stand up. I'm going to be out of frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. But basically, we're walking. Derek pauses. Me and Ryan stop behind Derek. Derek goes like this, leans on a yeah. fucking, like, wall, and stays there for about 20 seconds in pain. And what were you feeling? Well, exactly how... I mean, it was sharp. So, basically, <laughs> it felt like... There was a sharp poo that needed to come out my butt. Yeah. And it was like going, it was like around the belt area. Mm -hmm. And if I let it, like if I let it out, it would stop the pain, <laughs> but I would shit my pants. But, but it felt like a knife but jabbing had, in your yeah, ass. Exactly. So I had to like hold it in because, and I can't, I couldn't walk to the washroom because if I walked, it would go through, it would come out. Mm -hmm. So I just had to stand there for like 20 seconds and I was going like, oh fuck. Oh my God. Yeah. And then you were like, dude, I know exactly how it feels. It's no, sharp. Every, uh. Ryan, you felt that, right? A sharp pain yeah. in your asshole. Because you're holding in your poo too long. It's like you're sitting on a cigar. That is such... That's a decent analogy. Yeah. That is a good analogy, bro. It's like up I there. didn't think about that. I didn't make that up. That's from a movie or something. But like, it's like, it's up there. Yeah. Shanky. And the only way to let it go is to just shit your pants. Yeah. So then this guy pauses after 20 seconds. And I just go to the wall. It was like an anime. He just... No, yeah. it looked like he hit like the recall button and he had to like pause in frame and just like wait for it to well, happen. Dude, it was... Is that a League of Legends joke? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I, I might have to like bleep that out. That's really like bad on my part. That really reflects poorly on me. I mean, it, I'm th I'm thankful that my fear of going into public washrooms and taking a poo is, is it's so much like less now. You know, I used to be like scared of it. I wasn't scared, but it was. I just hate, I didn't like doing it. Yeah. And I'd so much rather put home, especially since, I mean, high school conditions you when you go to the washroom that there's going to be a, like a kid hitting a jewel. And yeah. I used, I used to be this, like uh, the CEO of the poo police. So if you're pooping in a stall in high school, I would just You're like, such a dick for that, boys, by the way. Boys, you're such, that's like, that's like, you're such I an asshole I think I was projecting because I was scared to poo. Yeah. And in my head, if it was unfair that people would poo. 
you know i remember in grade 10 someone shat in the urinal nice and it wasn't like a like a cute poo poo it was like a it looked like a, a yam it looked like a fucking potato and uh you think it was a joke or did they have to go that bad and someone was in the store? i don't know it was this was first period too first block right oh that morning first yam, block bro. and it was like you look at it, you go that came out of someone and then we should, like we were walking it was like it, it was uh it was a day we, we it was like a i had social studies that first block and we were walking to the computer lab because we were doing some assignment or whatever and we walked past the bathroom and they're like it's that bathroom and so all the guys just got out of line and just like went inside and ducked in no you gotta see yeah. it if yeah. no if if, if you well, no, if you someone doesn't to. flush the toilet yeah. you're seeing it no, on a snapchat story it, no it was it was like a it was like a museum like everyone came in and it was like holy shit whose asshole did that yeah but then it was and it was i bet you up. like i bet you everything that at least one kid was like how much would you pay me to eat that for i was the guy I, no i, I was I, the... I, we were both the guy because like <laughs> i'd, I'd be that. like yo i'm gonna eat it how much how much <laughs> like and you would like go like this and, and like uh, pretend you're about to bite it no yeah what what about pooing in your partner's houses or farting in front of your partners when you guys do that how how long into the relationship can you fart or poo in front of them? I feel like you and Bella have been dating for like a year and a half. You can surely fart in front of each other, I right? I think that's such a stupid thing where, I mean, yeah, farting's gross, but I don't fart that much. I I do. I fart a, more, a lot more now than I did before. But before when I first started dating Bella, I didn't fart. So this I didn't fart. fart. No, okay, I, bro. Sure, I fart now. Bro. I fart now. I can, I, can, I can fucking own up to that. But I used to not fart. Like, I'm not joking. I didn't understand. Did your diet change? Well, I think, like, well, my stomach has been having problems recently, but my diet's same. the same. Yeah. I think, well, I mean, I, I can't even go to Cineplex and eat popcorn because I shit my pants. I think as, we're not we're not old, but as you get older, yeah, I, mean, I don't think you can treat your body like you're 13 anymore. No. Like, if true. I treated my body like I was 13-year-old Nicholas, I would probably de- be, probably be dead yeah. of, like, some sort of poisoning. I mean, I've always had stomach problems, but now it's, like... It's so risky to even like drink dairy, but sometimes I can't. But sometimes I can't. Yeah, it's like a gamble. Like I had to. I missed some of Spider Man. Um, fucking far into no, the into, into the spider across the spider. I had to shit in the middle of it. I think farting in front of your your new significant other is actually like a really good icebreaker to get you comfortable in the relationship. But how That's many true. dates in? Like uh, the second when you're dating, like yeah. when you're official. Yeah. So the second okay. you become my girlfriend, I am ripping ass in your house. <laughs> okay. Well, when do these norms of like you have to hold up a certain image in a relationship? When does that drop? Personally, for me, I always have it drop instantaneously because I'm trying to look for something long term, and mm. I want you to know yeah. that I'm crazy <laughs> and you're capable off of farting. the bat. <laughs> so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not say crazy shit. But I'm going to be myself and I'm not yeah. going to hide who I am because best bet like six months down the line, if I hold up this image, I'm just going to be mad all the time. Yeah. I think that's respectable, but also not the play. I don't think I would ever find a partner if I was batshit crazy at the Okay, start. well, I'm not, I'm not fucking batshit <laughs> yeah, crazy. Well, I'm like, not yeah, insane. Yeah. But it's like I'm, like I'm obviously going to be polite and I'm going to be myself. Yeah. But I'm also not going to hide who I am. You can Google me and you can see all the shit that I do, to be honest. Like, I'm yeah. going to, like, sometimes I'll be like Nicholas filming Zesties. Well, I think it's, I think you should always be yourself. When you're not yourself and you realize that, you do get that resentment. But at the same time, my biggest red flag is how I react to, like, um problems or conflict, right? So I can never actually show that until there's actual conflict. So it's like, that my guard is let down when there's conflict it's good that you know that though that you're aware of your red yeah. flag and so in a, like a new relationship you can be like just want to let you know when things get heated i do this i'm trying to change it but i just want to let you know when this happens i don't mean it i still yeah. like i i still love you but i'm gonna do this because i, I of turn into joe xyz uh, you know past trauma or whatever joe Zoo. yeah just letting you know yeah yeah i mean but so that's like that i mean that catches people off guard i think for the farting thing though here's my play okay so let's say you you're official when say i'm a fart right now because if you just rip a rip ass right if you just randomly rip ass it's like oh how is she gonna react but if you go like i gotta fucking fart right now and then you fart it's like okay there was the soft launch there I think yeah, stop it. Announce it. Don't don't just deadly hit them like. Hey, that's what we do. Yeah, well, I sometimes I say I say I sometimes I say I'm so sorry. I have to let it rip, 
And then other times I don't really give a fuck and I let it rip. If it's just me and you, I'm going to let it rip yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but that's not, that's different. I think it, it, I mean, your comfortability with somebody, it, it, you don't know when you can rip ass because it changes with everybody. You know, sometimes you get close for somebody really fast. Sometimes you don't. But I think if you're dating, like, I know some people, okay, this, when I say I know some people, I saw TikToks. Okay, that's like <laughs> six months in, they don't even fucking fart. That's fucked up because everybody has to fart. Yeah. And if you're hiding that part of yourself, like, what if I hate farting and I don't know you fart until six months in, and all of a sudden I'm rethinking it. <laughs> Okay. you have an asshole <laughs> okay well one time um this was my ex i was actually meeting her parents for the first time yeah so you know when you meet your girlfriend's parents you kind of want to show all the good sides of you're you. good at that probably i feel like i'm the goat i'm the goat. Hey, i'm the that. dad ryan's the mom okay hey. and we our daughter is named oh my god i can see where all your daughter's good looks come from you wait my am i the dad or the mom i forgot you're the dad I can see where all your okay. daughter's good looks come from, oh, bro. Oh, thank you, sir. He's not actually Mr. The dad. Zoo. I got you. The dad good was to meet the you. Good to meet you, man. What do you, what do you like to do? I like Mr. to take care of your daughter. That's what I like to do. I like to show <laughs> her a good time. By, get her back by 10 p.m. We all know the rules here. What's, what's her favorite position? No, Yo. We're not talking about that. <laughs> I, think you, I think you're good at meeting parents. But Okay, well, the story is I, okay. I met her parents, and we had dinner. I had to poo really badly. Wait. So who was? Never mind. So I had to poo really badly, went into her house, you know, we ate dinner. Now it's time. What'd you eat? I gotta I gotta unleash. Well we it was like a, did you eat beans? Well it was the classic like um what do you call it? Every all, all white moms hate it, but every white Meatloaf. Dad, thank you. It's meatloaf. No loaf. way, dude. Um if I fucking went to eat dinner with like my girlfriend's parents for the first time and there was meatloaf, I would kill myself. <laughs> no, it was meatloaf. It was like a mix of hummus, French bread, okay. um, baked beans. It was very white. Okay? okay. It was a she was a white it was a white family, okay. white household. Okay. And then you have to be like, oh, miss, this is so good. It's like I don't want the seconds, but she's gonna put them on my plate anyways. <laughs> yeah. I can't I you can't have to eat it. Yeah. So now it's time to go to the bathroom, go up, take a poo, and it was violent. Okay? It uh -oh. was one of those Maybe I shouldn't have yeah, it was an, it was World War Three. No, it was World War Three yeah. up in there. No, okay. someone called the cops because they thought there was domestic abuse. Yeah, yeah. Like I was making noises and shit, right? And um, I tried flushing it; it wouldn't go down the toilet. Oh no! So I keep waiting for the water to oh, refill. Shit. I flush it again, and it's like now it's my sixth time flushing the toilet, and the poo was so misconstrued in the bowl. On my seventh flush, I opened the lid to make sure it was all the way. It wasn't. Instead, the poo was fucking smeared along the bowl what if you and spelled out poppin' not... bees. For, I don't know what the fuck was happening. What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sauce. My name is Nicholas Potsvat. My name is D-R-E-K-Z-H-U, Derek Zoo. And today we are joined with... What's up, I'm Ryan. Thanks for having me back again. That's our goat. That so, is our goat. That is I'm excited. It, for everyone for everyone that doesn't know, that's our father figure. Only two years older than us, but he's our father figure. Probably daddy figure, but okay. This guy yeah. zipped my jacket up. You no, see that? Ryan, yeah. Yeah. I wanted him to tie my shoes. I'm not trolling. Let's go play football. I actually like catch the park. No, because the thing is, is like I would get emotional. Like I saw my uh my neighbor, his dad, his dad or the you have dad. a Chinese neighbor. No, the uh the that, that was across. But the one right next to me, he's a white dad, such a nice guy. He's playing with his kid. I actually got like I was like, what the fuck? Like I got a bit mad. Let's catch up on the last twenty years. Yeah, like I was actually tilted. But back to relationships norms. I feel like I mean, this is like a growing thing. I feel like norms, especially in apps, norms are like a big thing, especially in dating apps. It's becoming weird. The norms are becoming weird, bro. Well, I don't I'm I have been out the dating app game. I've only had a dating app for like a month. And then you got scared and uninstalled it. Well, to me, it was just a little game. It was like, it was like, um, so you saw the dating app as a game. Yeah. I mean, it felt like one. it was just like, okay. Cause I had Ubo when I was 16. That yeah. doesn't count, but I, I had Hinge, okay. Tinder, Bumble. Yeah. Okay. I was really lonely. I even had Bumble friends. I'm not going to lie, but that's not even like something you make fun of me for. That's something you feel bad about me for. Like you feel bad. Okay. Make fun of me. Fuck you. No, that was, I feel bad for you. That was, I've yeah. never met someone who's used Bumble friends. Yeah. That was, yo, I can had... I, can I, can I like pat you? Like, that's really Bro. like, I'm like, well, I had no friends. Yeah. And I want, I felt like I was missing out. But would you want to be friends with other people who went on Bumble friends? Like, well, are those the weird like, people? Like, what are those kind of people? Well, well, that was me. <laughs> no, but dude, what if like they pulled up and they were wearing, and they were like 25 and they had a kitty tail on? There's also Bumble business too. <laughs> Bumble should... business? Yes. Dude, we should find people to guess <laughs> yeah, be awesome. Bumble business. What the fuck? Just to promote the show. Bumble business? Yeah. It could be a good idea. 
I don't even know, but I, I only had it for a month. People would ask me on dates, and I'd be like, oh, shit. Because to me, it was just like, I'm going to practice texting, you know, yeah. Riz up. Mm-hmm. See if people wanted me for my self-esteem. But Unranked was, game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was playing casual. <laughs> it was casual. I was playing norms. I was playing, playing norms. <laughs> We're so fucking lame. Why are we so <laughs> video game pilled? I don't even play video games, bro. Sure, bro. I brought my DS with me today. Are you serious? Yeah, we can talk about this later, but oh yeah, I found God. all that shit. Oh, this guy is the one the picture the camera uh should, no this is just the normal ds we should play like games on our ds's i, I have my 3ds one. Okay. Have one. oh well, fuck if i had oh wait you have different three oh do you have a 3ds I have a Nintendo uh, 3DS. Did you, oh, fuck i was gonna say the thumbnail of this episode episode should be taken with like a dsi camera that would be sick oh my god if i if if we had this conversation i would have brought yeah. it that's yeah. so upsetting i would have brought it oh my after god. That, well, how far do you live uh not that far away okay, we can go drive and go pick it up and come back Fuck. I'm gonna plans after this, bro. For the bit. Let's go to the bear. Let's go to the fucking bear. Drink. Alright. What were you saying? Two in the morning. <laughs> Two in the morning. Um, what was I saying? So you were just talking about Well, I was just like norms and apps or norms. even like or like yeah. yeah, so I didn't really I'm I'm not really into the game. I know what's how long have you had dating apps? What's your playtime? I was <laughs> I was on and off dating apps for about a little under three years, I think. That's a that's yeah. I didn't mean to be rude about no, it. No, no, no. I it's, I respect <laughs> that. that. No, that that's a, that's a, a respectable. When Kevin Hart went that's a respectable. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, like it was just because you'd have like three month relationships, and then that would uh, that would end, and you just do the loop again. And it's like I saw the meme where it's like all these relationships are starting to feel like an oil change. It just happens every a few months. How many relationships did you have from dating apps? Like real, like like actual, like official ones. Okay, no. How many dates? You, how many girls did you go on dates with? And how many official ones? I uh, and, and tier list them. So who was two of uh, two official relationships off dating apps, and like flings and like handful of dates, uh, probably like twelve people. Holy shit! I don't even know. Actually, wow. I actually have no idea. Wait, There's okay, less than twenty for sure. So how do you get girls on dates? Oh, hi, well, my name is Ryan. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I've tried it. That doesn't. No way. Because I feel like everybody says hi. My name is. Uh, what? I was, I was on. So I was on Tinder for like that's half not the, the spot. time. That's not. I know, the it wasn't the spot. Play to find a yes. long lasting relationship. Yeah, but then that's because that was like when I was fresh into it. Because like, what, what, what do you, what do you do? Or like, like, where do you go? Tinder's like the. It's like the Coca Cola of dating apps. Like, yeah. Where, where yeah. do you, where do you go? And then you quickly learn that like, okay, everyone there is. It's just it's either hookups. Which I wasn't looking for, or like Instagram clout, because what what these girls would do, they go, they you message them or they message you or whatever, and they go, oh, I don't really use the app. You can uh, let's just talk on Instagram instead. Oh, so you follow them, and then you follow them, and then they, they never text you back, and then you just rack up followers. Yeah, that's that's, that's the you're strat. that desperate for Instagram yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is unreal. And then you can tell the profile because they're generally like influencer ass photos yeah right like beach photos and they're like you know like you can you can just tell like you're trying to be a Haley IG Bieber baddies. or yeah 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 or i don't know if they're baddies or like. baddies. <laughs> but, you know, but yeah like... but, but it, a lot of the time it's like oh let's just, let's just talk on instagram and then you, you just stay in their message requests that's sad that i mean that does, i didn't do that because i saw right through that but like you see a lot of that happen yeah no, that's I, not me i think uh, it happened to like a friend of mine a, only a tinder thing yeah i feel like it is yeah there's more i mean the narrative for tinder is different than the other apps. yeah i found tinder wasn't at because were you were you guys on tinder as well no yeah no oh but then that was Dude, your one month thing right well the, i was on every app <laughs> but yeah but, you know i don't too. know why i'm more surprised about tinder than bumble friends i don't know why, why. <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> bumble friends is like the most surprising one tinder the thing is tinder is the coca-cola that's the first thing you that's think where you of when go you think to dating app. and so because of that when you're fresh out of a breakup, right, and you just want kind of want to like you want to go to a dating app, whether it's for a rebound or attention, you're gonna go to Tinder. And so the the pool of people in Tinder are just freshly broken up with, freshly trauma. You get everyone. It's like it's the it's the public school of dating apps. Dude, oh. the, the pool the pool of people on Tinder are just weird men. No, yeah, the, the well, pool and, of and women. Tinder... There's a lot of weird women on on Tinder too. I mean, Tinder is giving Cactus Club, and like. No, Tinder's no. giving like Chad? Applebee's. Oh, hey, don't I like Applebee's don't, though. Don't sh- don't fuck with Applebee's. Oriental <laughs> chicken salad. That's Dude, what it's, it's called. called the Oriental it's, chicken salad. It's called Oriental chicken salad. Was it okay? Well, as an Oriental person, was it Oriental enough for you? I didn't get it, but I've, I'm sure it was good. 
like what? what's worse than apple what's like grimier than applebee's but why is it Chili's. okay why is it applebee's well Cat- cactus club is like decently nice like it's got a nice bathrooms oh i was sort of talking oh, about the, the, not the, the, estab- demographic? the demographic the demographic oh yeah i guess so i mean okay if we put it this way um it, if like you want to go for like a baby let's go on our on our fifth year anniversary dinner like take you to cactus club like those type of people right yeah but also like um i don't know like what's sorry if you go to cactus without club any f- without any flame or like a cactus club employee what does what's, this person yeah, look what's, like it's like a fictional character that would be on tinder and it would be like um and work at cactus club yeah. and obviously we're treading on thin ice right now because we're about to be so disrespectful yeah you know very over i can't think of any characters, i can't but... yeah i can't think of a metaphor but i i find that a lot of people that the majority of people on Tinder have a lot more unresolved trauma and Whoa. <laughs> a Whoa, lot more disgusting. like just like emotional and relationship problems that are unrecognized versus like people on Hinge. I don't know if that's true, though. I mean, I only have one month experience and watching this guy. Yeah. But Tinder, how I what does the it, fuck? What does the fuck does the watching of this guy oh, mean, I've been, bro? I've been watching I, I know what hinges like. Sort oh, of okay. Seen... I thought you were saying I was mentally ill. No, 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 no. Which no. I am a little bit, but it's but fine. From what I see on the hint, the difference, the difference between hinge and Tinder is, Tinder is like, um, it's like the Cactus Club baddies that listen to Drake and go get Peach Bellinis. It's all like the blonde girls that go to the beach, and there's nothing wrong with this or anything. Yeah. And then from what I've seen on Hinge, it's more alternative women, and like. I don't know. Maybe because you guys live in North Van. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's different out where you are. I mean, people on Hinge, I just find more wholesome in general. I, I really like the, a little I bit like, more wholesome. I like, no, shout out to all my Hinge users. We like you. What about Bumble? Do you guys use Bumble? Why does no one fuck with Bumble? I use Bumble. I don't like it. I don't think I've gotten what a is, single what date is, what off is, Bumble. What is Bumble? Is that, it, it goes is, Hinge, that's Bumble, That's the one Tinder. when only women can send out likes? Yeah. No. What? Yeah. No. No. Sorry. They can. No. Hit, women have to hit you up. They have to message first. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. So. So. Wait. If, I don't remember. If you if you match with a girl on Bumble, uh, and you match, she has twenty four hours to message you. And I you can't message yeah. her. She has to message you first. I get honestly. And she has twenty four hours to do so. <laughs> but but uh, but okay. And, and we're we're gonna, we're just gonna segue into dating app norms, but. The, the norm on a dating app kind of stemming from the norms of approaching women at bars or whatever guys have to make the first move right mm-hmm. and i think a lot of girls again i'm over generalizing but the majority of the girls and i know you know this even if you if you're if, if you're if you're thinking he doesn't know what he's talking about like guys is are expected to message first right and women aren't necessarily the most accustomed to that so because they're not as accustomed to it they're less inclined to hit you up first even though bumble is for hitting up guys first no, that well, the 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 male. To, I want to know the man to woman ratio. It's probably like one to seven. Yeah, it's 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 shocking. bad. Yeah, it's really really. I wonder what bad. it actually is. And we've seen. I'm gonna like, Google that. Can I Google that? Yeah, go, Google that. Give that a quick go. Because I mean, I've definitely. I mean, I have. I have no clue. But I saw the most success on Hinge personally. What's what's. Like, I don't. I've only used no. Hinge on Tinder. I had like one like in like a week. Because bro, it's a white man's game. I don't, no. Hinge is a white, 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 white man's game. It actually is. It's a white man's that's what game. I, that's what I meant. But like it's giving. Bro, like, bro, you meaning. might, you might be one of the most beautiful Chinese men I've ever well, seen. Tinder, but you, you, you find a white man with Air Force Ones. It's gonna I'm destroy, I'm destroy dick. the competition. He's dicking me. Seventy-eight percent are men. Use chat that's GPT. fucking insane. Oh. No, that's just Google. That's fucking insane, yeah. bro. Like if you look at a girl's Tinder or Hinge, and you look at a dude's, it's so different. And you could take like an average-looking girl and like a really, really hot. Well. No, like same same looks. But. I saw a video where it was they compared how many likes they get for like a new profile. Or, or anyways, it was comparing a, a a female profile of a picture of a ceiling. <laughs> they got like ninety nine oh, plus likes just because the name was like Stephanie, <laughs> and the guy's account where it was like he's actually like like a decently attractive person. They had like uh interesting prompts and like he was happy. He's like he had a nice looking profile, like twelve likes versus. An empty female profile named Stephanie of a picture of a ceiling, like 99 likes. Why, why are dudes so much more desperate? Um, on... Because it's the, 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 the pool, dude. It, like, the, 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 the dating pool is so bad. And also, like, 
I think guys are just way more expressiveness. Not us, but we know men that are really expressive about their horniness and their penis, and they really love going into their penis and talking but about it. Girls talking about cute guys though, but it's just not as sexual. Yeah, like, girls would be like, "Oh, it's, that guy's fine." It's there, but it's just repressed because it's not culturally uh, accepted to be that open about your sexuality. Let's let's make it that way. Yeah, I, I mean, dudes make dick jokes all the time, but you can't make pop a pussy joke. I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> then you get like Amy Schumer, but then everyone tells her, "Shut joke. the fuck up! Stop talking about your Dude, pussy." Jokes aren't even funny, no, bro. I've I seen her. Talk, I don't want to hear about Amy Schumer's pussy. But That's the, the but the reason I think like. There's like a numerous things, and I don't want to get too scholarly, scholarly theoretically in this bitch, but like, horm- like at this age, hormonally, guys are horny as fuck. You're trying to reproduce, trying to fuck, 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 culturally too. I don't, no lie, like, I understand it's like a basic, or not a basic, survival. I understand it's genetic, like, it's genetic, it's a survival instinct, and it's like, a, like, it's, it's your purpose to reproduce. Yeah. But we don't, like, can we normalize not making it your only personality trait slash needing to talk about it all the time? That is true. Like, I understand you need to have sex, but that doesn't mean you could touch your boobs, bro. That didn't, oh, that wasn't perms. That wasn't perm to touch your boobs. It's... We knew guys like that. I'm calling you out, bro. We didn't, we didn't know guys. We knew guys like that that are like, no, dude, like, why are you wearing like a... <laughs> and then grabs it because he was too yeah. horny. Bro. How many, um, where's my hug guys did you guys know in high school? Oh no, he would be like, "We're not." Who? We knew motherfuckers. Like, where's my hug at? And then where my hug at? And then he would just put him and bury himself in. Well, bro. no, I'm I'm the, the, where my hug at guy isn't. No, you're. I think you're confusing Chad with awkward nerd in the corner. I don't, well, I'm talking about just like really like creepy guys. You just want to hug. Girls. Where's my hug at, girly? Yeah, like I know too many of those. The boob guys, guy man. is like a little bit popular, decent, good looking. The where my but hug like, at guy. Bo- wait, plays... boob guy will grab female boobs? Yeah, without perms. We've known huh? guys like that. This this happened? Yes, multiple he dudes. Had we know that. we 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 make fun of guys that we went to high school that used to do that. So he just grope women in in the hallways. Yeah, and the thing is, well, is not like, in the hallways. No, but like at parties. And this was like val- socially valid. And then he would just well, no, actually, it wasn't socially no, valid. They, how do you not get your kick like shake kicked in? We, we knew like a guy that did that, cheated on his girlfriend, and still got a girlfriend like at the same high school. Yeah, his rep what? wasn't. Affected. Do I know this person? I don't think so. Okay, got good. it. I mean. Sorry to, I'm a flame. I'm a flame now. If you date somebody that's ever cheated on somebody else, like you need to go follow my new Instagram, and I'm gonna help you with your self esteem. He's on Instagram now. Well, I He's just back. feel like I would never date somebody that's cheated before, ever. That's like that's like. What if they cheated when they were like 18 and now they're like 50? That's they've that's, learned. Yeah, but I'm talking about our age because if yeah. you cheated when you were 18, that was like two years ago, bro, for us, mm-hmm. right? Like that is so recent. And yes, you can change, but. I can never respect you enough to date you. That's, I don't know. And also it's cringe. And I'd have to tell my friends that you cheated on your ex-partner. And then it'd be like, it's also so embarrassing. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. So cringe. I don't know. That's like the murder of like in the dating world, you know, like it's pretty bad. That's like the school shooting equivalent. Like if you shoot up a school, that's fucked up. Like cheating is the same thing where (laughs) how could you still date somebody? Like the guy we were talking about. Yeah. Like, and he he he's still he's it's he's dating the same girl. It's like been four years. Especially if you've also been cheated on yourself, like you know how bad it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like your like your level of respect for someone who like will continuously do like like a serial cheater. Like we know one of those. We know one of those. We know one of those. Drop the name. I'll believe it. We know one of those. He was doing that? No, just like he's a serial cheater. Brother, I did not know he... You ruined him for me, bro. I didn't know he was like that. What? I thought this was like a really well-known thing. I didn't know gets bro was the like all that. The time. Yeah. Dog. Not my boy, dude. This is worse than if you told me he had like a micro penis. Oh, uh, that's probably massive. It makes it worse. My God. Now I know it's big. uh, Now I know it's massive. And I'm I'm, I'm bleeping all the names out. But that's crazy. I just found out. About this. We just found out a good friend of ours. Or not a good friend of ours. But a a, a friend of ours was a bit of a dirty dog. Well. It's unfortunate. It's. Okay. So. Was that entire section just. Wow. (laughs) Wow. One long cap of goo. Well. Cheating. To me. Just break up with the other person. Because if you cheat on somebody. That means you probably aren't very invested then you might as well just like cheat without like being nervous to get caught i don't know am i being brain dead right now <laughs> no no i think well breaking up with uh your partner is hard. no lie it takes courage it's tough i i like whenever i've had to do it 
it sucks major dick. It's yeah. always How an do you emotional process. What's your thing? My, I don't Not know. I've, 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 I've only had me. two actual girlfriends and like when we've broken up, it was not a fun experience. Like it wasn't toxic or anything, but it's just not a fun experience. It, each time it went different. It was you, right? Well, it's usually like oh, we it, we both understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We both come to the understanding of yes, it's come to an end. Let's just break up, and it's usually gone well each time. But it's not a fun experience. You never know what to say. It's always awkward. What do you feel when you break up with somebody? Kind of bad or guilt a little bit. You feel guilty. You feel sad. Yeah, it's it's a, it's you, not a you fun eat experience. Ice cream? Nah. You don't cry. I no, you cry. I cry sometimes. It's good, but like you have to get it out. It's not. If you don't cry, you're cold as hell. Holy shit! Like this guy. I don't really cry. <laughs> I cried the King of Staten Island. <laughs> I can only cry to things I relate to like heavily. Yeah. So if like something like some the worst thing could happen ever to you, but if I don't relate to it, like I it would be hard for me to feel empathy. What if? Uh, there's a Canada instituted a new law that oh, cats are causing this new pandemic virus, and everyone has to give away their cats. I would fucking cry. See? I would cry like, I, okay, if if that actually happened, or like if my cat died, yeah, I would be distraught. Like, so you can yeah. cry for a loss, then yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! I don't even want to think about that, bro. What the fuck? Well, you you got this guy tilted on That's, the episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let talk about. Let's go Use back to your emotions. Norms. Feel. <laughs> Dude, sometimes when I let's go back to that, but I'm gonna say this. Sometimes when I when I smoke weed, like you know when you smoke weed and you get thoughtful and shit. Uh huh. I think of like Mango dying and I like I get really sad. Bad dude. trip. Yeah. Well, not not I I don't like it's not a bad high or anything. I yeah. Can, I'm a, I'm a good. What's it called? Level headed. Push it back in. Yeah. It, but like, and it's also it's also irrational. It's not real. Mm -hmm. But I I I like tear up when I think about shit. Then use that energy to love Mango even more for the time that you guys have together. Because bro, let's be real. Actually, no, I don't. Roaring make... Kitty. Well, I... Roaring Kitty. Uh, dumb money. I'm confused. I like it was stuff. a reference. Let's go back to talking yeah. about dating. Norms. So, um, I feel like personally for me, personally for me, and I don't want to flame anyone, and I don't want to flame anyone you guys by accident i don't want to flame uh you flame by accident but like okay like mind games and playing hard to get is a norm in dating oh, apps and in dating in general do you think that's a thing when you get older or do you think that's like when you when you think people on like that are like 35 okay. and on like no. thir 35 plus meat or mm -hmm. whatever wait the like 50 year olds use tinder probably yeah. bro Dude, I've gotten like fifty, like fifty year old women have like change my your account. age, the, your age demographic to fifty to seventy five. Oh, that you. shit's crazy. Oh, that shit's crazy. It's cougar season yeah. out here. Do you think like playing hard to get is sort of a normal? It's high school shit. People, well, it's yeah. total high like, school shit. Here's you think it'll happen? Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm yeah. wrong. But like, I think playing hard to get is a generational thing. I don't think it was a thing in a pa in the past. But let's be real. Imagine when we're all 50, we're still going to be sending each other memes because that's our generation. Like, I'm going to be hanging out with Cody. He's going to be like 50 and we're going to be on the bus and he's going to show me a meme like this, yeah. right? Because that's a generational yeah. generational uh -huh. thing. I think generationally, it's very common for people our age to play hard to get and that's going to continue until we Forever. die. But that's I'm really also shitty. really uneducated i dropped out of school my gpa is awful stop you're so like that's, that, that's just my opinion hey, that's just my opinion this is life i'm ill-informed you know what i mean i don't even vote so that don't hold mean... me responsible if i'm wrong okay well that doesn't mean you're not valid to have opinions yeah yeah but that's just my like, take. but it's true it is generational well i yeah. think okay so playing hard to get do you this so do you find that it happens right now on the dating scene yeah it happens but also i don't experience it that much because i don't even I don't like this is gonna sound weird like this is gonna sound like I'm, a, I'm an abusive white dad but I don't like put up with it you know I kind dude. of as soon as I see it I'm like I don't have time no for that's not you shit. being I'm abusive out. white dad that's you having self value yeah like I'm like dude do you really think I'm gonna wait around for three months for you to yeah. keep canceling like I'm out bro 100% like I'm not there's I haven't ex experienced it because I make sure I don't yeah. experience it you think it. the dudes do it a lot more than girls or well you you value your time so much where it's like if you're showing me this kindergarten childhood shit fuck that you're not you're not value enough to be within my circle yeah okay wait what's playing hard to get uh like, let's say you just meet someone on a dating app first date but or like what's the initial stages of playing, playing hard, to get? hard to get in my opinion yeah is 
like a mind game you guys have seen death note right it's yeah, like when yeah. l and light yeah. yagami are talking and you can't tell each other you like each other you can't show that you you can't show that you have a crush or anything right like the reason why you're going out on a date is because you're probably attracted to them and you want to see if there's something there right but you can't show that you what can't. is this a yeah, thing this it's, is a thing yeah, so, so you're, you're you've been lucky it's voluntarily holding back to show to not show the interest that you have, to make yeah. yourself seem less interested, to make them want you more. It's a psychological yeah. thing. And it Ooh. has the and opposite it would work on me too. It yeah. has the opposite effect on me where I'm like, I don't have time for this shit, bro. Like, it would work on fu- me. So think of it this way. Your girlfriend, right? Okay. She's pulling away. She's being distant. What are you going to do? You're gonna... I'm Hello? Like, pull back. Like, fit, like a fit. No, you're yeah, going to well, go closer. You're, well, you're, yeah. you're going to chase them You're on more. the hook, I'm brother. Like, you're on the hook. No, no, no. Really? Yeah, well, you're, yeah. well, essentially, you're chasing them. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. diving into the water. Exactly. So if she, if she backs off and she's her, her texts are getting drier and drier, less and less, you're going to double text. You're going to run after them even further, Ooh. which tells them, oh, he liked me. You know? And, and then, and to mitigate that, in the dating world, you don't want to show that you like someone that much because then you seem less valuable, less obtainable, or, or easy obtainable, less value. Yeah, so less, true. so both you guys are going to both play hard to get and it's going to be a barren wasteland of a text. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when I think thought of like hard to get, like let's say, I don't know, I, I think some people, I used to do this when I was 15 on Snapchat. Uh, so that was valid as fuck at the time. <laughs> but like, oh my God, three minutes? I'm going to wait it's six exactly, minutes. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's that. It's 100% yeah. that. And or, then if you're texting someone, you're like, oh, they texted three messages. I'm going to text two messages. But yeah. so that's still a thing. It now. will always be a thing, in my opinion, because yeah. it's part of our generation. I hope the next generation, you guys probably won't have beef. The next generation won't have uh, food, probably, like to keep them self said. But they also won't have the energy to play hard to get because yeah. they don't have enough food to do so. I just yeah. can't believe this is still a thing because when I, okay, when I think of like playing hard to get, I'm mm-hmm. thinking if I was to play hard to get, this would be my intention. Wait, you. It's not subconscious. It's like planned out, right? Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's, it's become subconscious because it's so normalized. Oh my yeah. fucking! Because the thing is, what you want to be cool and like a trophy, and what's like stereotypically cool, like muscle cars, being jacked, but like also yeah. not giving a shit and busy. Yes. Yeah. Especially since, like, also like being on your phone that much is also just like kind of cringe. Yeah. Yeah. And like I think a lot of people are on their phone more than they want to be, so they want to seem like they're doing other shit. Women don't like available men. If you're there all the time, available, kissing their feet at all times, and I'm sorry if I'm generalizing, but it's true. Um, if you're always there at their side, they're like, oh, I can I can get this guy whenever I want. So there's no real need to catch him. In in, in this case, it's, he's like, he's just right there already, and so guys will, well, oh, sorry, if you're always available um it, there's no there's no really chase there and that's a lot of people go on dating apps for the chase Ooh. and so if you see and it's it's also like if you're available all the time and this goes for both both parties on, on dating apps if i'm talking to someone and you're a, and you reply within an instant and you're like like do you have anything to do in your life like are you just always on dating apps like by your phone like and then you seem like a not very interesting and well-versed person and then it makes you seem less attractive because like all you do is on your phone if it, if you somehow show the 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 the, the disguise that you're busy you seem more uh wanting to be obtained because like oh maybe he's what, what's he doing is he mm. talking to other girls is he probably yeah it, and so then you is he grinding right now and then <laughs> and then now you're a pirate exactly it's like yeah. oh he's probably is he editing is he filming oh he's so cool he must be doing all those things yeah. what if he's talking to other girls reality, is he talking to Derek Gerard right now reality, yeah right exactly watching, like, fucking king of Staten Island yeah. or something <laughs> so you listen to girlfriend ASMR <laughs> but I think I think Derek like I feel like um like I feel like that's so surprising to you about all these um norms because you've you've like been in a consistent long relationship for a while and you've never really been exposed to yeah. that side of the dating so scene. i'm not like into this culture because if i was into the culture yeah. i'd probably do the ha- same have thing. you ever had a um a period in your life where you've been where you've dated and you've gone out with like five different people trying to find no, the next person never yeah like you've never had to do that and i think that like that's why you find it so surprising it, it is because surpri- i because in my head i thought we dropped that shit it's like no snapchat. we don't no i thought after no. we graduated we're the only two guys snapchat. not on snapchat yeah. bro like i thought i'm so proud of shit. you guys all of your fucking friends just use snapchat for everything you don't right i'm sorry do you i i have to because your guys' friends talk to me through that shit it, i'm it, like it, just it, make a fucking text group chat why is that so hard it also i mean the thing is snapchat for me when people just say it's a messaging app like it is yes but the reason i don't use snapchat personally 
is because it I sort of associate it with like being a child. Yeah. And it's like and I I I mean, I thought we ended this, but obviously not. People like just send selfies all the time like when we're like hanging out and like I don't want to be associated with that culture mm-hmm. of like, "Oh, I just got a snap. Hold on. We're talking right now." But I have to send a selfie to this person I don't even know. Yeah, what we know, motherfucker, is that we'll be all hanging out, and then all of a sudden they'll drift out of the conversation, right, and be kind of mysterious in the corner, and then I'll see them pull out their fucking. And then phone, you see this, and then and I'll see this, I'll see this, I'll see. <laughs> like your tongue is so long. That... <laughs> Holy sh! I have a long tongue. That's yeah. It's Hit sharp up. too. Hit me, up. Hit me up if you want me to. This guy's punch your eater. fart box with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean bro? i'm a munch so i'm a long. munch bro it's got you you are a munch am i yeah you give munch energy i don't give a you fuck could do bro. ice spice for halloween man what does that mean bro it means spray paint your hair orange and then wear a white spray leotard paint. and bend over and grab your cooch but what if i don't want to like get justin trudeau'd <laughs> close color yeah. <laughs> yeah she's lighter than you shit is she yeah yeah From what I've seen. she's like a light light skin Damn, she's, she's like Lomozy. Okay, maybe for next. Lomozy's a weird looking motherfucker, man. Yeah, he's like I used to love his song. Popping with the block. He made the blueberry. Fu- Fuego yeah, he's blueberry well, right? Fuego guy. Right? Bad bitch, and I didn't he say he um I think like he, graped someone. I think he did. I'm not gonna say the R word. I'm gonna say graped because we'll get like de fucking monetized. Do you guys but... like watch the uh freshman XXL ciphers every year? Yeah, what? I do. I still do. Did you see his little cipher? Yeah. Bitch Wait, woke up feeling like, like the, the man. man. Woke up feeling like the he he rhymed the man with the, the man. man. <laughs> I don't uh, even know what this is. I think it's a good thing. I don't know what this no, is. No, it's 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 I culture. Mean, <laughs> well, I think you were really disconnected with high school culture. Like that's my biggest flex. I've never had a juice world face. That's my biggest flex. Yeah, but dude, it's like you didn't have your right of passage into being a man because you don't know what dude like the double I don't XL want to be twenty sixteen compared to uh, dude the the men that listen to Juice World now that are like twenty one something yeah but you went wrong out of it not some You're motherfuckers to. yeah but not some motherfuckers yeah we know motherfuckers that have Juice World as a profile picture still it's yeah weird. you're supposed to get out of that it's like the Snapchat and the playing hard to get okay so how do you get girls on a date um, what do you do personally for me or oh, well Ryan did you wanna what do you guys do? Well, I just try to get them out off the app and in person as soon as possible. Because I think yeah. when when all you are is just like text messages on a screen, it's very hard to stand out amongst the crowd because objectively you're just words on a screen. You're just subtitled. Yeah. And so in in, in their mind, you're just like, it's just, just another profile. That was exactly what I was about to say. Uh, um, and I like I have it down in my notes. It's he like was about the slow that, game. I like I've talked to people that. Um, we'll just meet someone on a dating app and then they'll text on Instagram for like three months the, and the then it'll gone. die And out. then she already got dicked down nine yeah. times. And then there's yeah. no momentum. Like if I match with someone on a dating app, yeah. I try my, I usually try to grab their number within the first like two, three days Yeah. and then start planning the day. Yeah. I'm, I'm in it for the quick game. Yeah, you I have to use the momentum. I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like I have a pump and dump scheme. But I'm yeah. in it for like, bro. But it's also, you have to show interest, right? Where if you three months go by and, and then you haven't asked him to hang out, she's probably like, well, he has no interest in me yeah. whatsoever. Also, also like, People I know, are scared. I know you're scared. To, I know you're scared to ask them out. The worst they can actually, no, it's not the worst, the worst they, they can, can say. say is like, ew. <laughs> yeah. The worst they can say is, you know. And I've asked people on dates and they just don't respond to me. Yeah. And it's fine. I'm not going to really get upset about yeah. it. Right. Exactly. He's asked a lot of girls on dates. He's asked a lot of guys on dates. Like, you. <laughs> What? get used to getting ghosted that's the that's the best yeah. advice i can say get it's like <laughs> when you ask someone out think of it like investing in the stock market that money is gone yeah if you get dividends and you get your investment back Ooh. that's a bonus that's a plus but if you're just <clears throat> if you if you if you're hitting someone up just assume they're not going to get back to you don't, i mean but then also don't like just like cheap out what you say like put like some heart and some passion into what you say don't just like a girl you up but like <laughs> a girl you up wanna fuck wanna fuck wanna but fuck wanna like, <laughs> fuck just like assume that like alright there's, there's there's a thousand dudes <laughs> what, we, what to fuck <laughs> what to fuck what to fuck what color are your nipples <laughs> okay, yo, okay, I have to pee so badly you made me have to pee bro can we take a quick pee break yeah, I gotta pee back from the pee break so dating apps um 
are just depersonalize the entire experience of dating because I think going off a little bit what we just said before we peed, um, you're just a picture yeah, and just text on, on a screen. And so because it depersonalizes the whole experience, you can really say whatever you really want because one, there's <laughs> no, you don't see a reaction because you're not, it's not face to face because well, there's, there's no immediate consequence, right? If you say something out of pocket or you just say something, you can really say anything. You can, you can use it to your advantage, yes or no, if you don't have the confidence, but it also allows you, allows people to say out of pocket things, weird things, weird things. Yeah. Right. And, and, and so your, the social structure of what you can say on a dating app is completely different from what you can say when you're in front of person in real life. No lie. I don't have that filter, bro. I just, I know you don't, no, I know but, you don't, but you don't weird people out. I, Cause I think there's dudes that are like, yes, I can't ask girls to send me nudes in person, but I'm gonna go on Tinder and be a fucking villain. Show me your pussy, please, please, please. And the thing is people don't understand like, how is it not embarrassing? Like your picture's still on yeah. the app. Like that's still embarrassing. Like what if you get caught at like a fucking Red Robin and I got and you're gonna <laughs> a Red like, Robin? Oh, that guy asked me to Young. show my pussy, bro. <laughs> like that's still embarrassing, guys. Well, like because the thing is, is I've noticed. Um, I I haven't had as I haven't had a three year career in dating apps like Ryan Shame. did. You, you make know? me sound like <laughs> no. I was a junior. I have you know I'm not a veteran. I'm still I'm still a junior. You know they they still refer to me. The C the CEO of Hinge would still call me a junior. It was like two and a half. Okay, two and a uh, half. Okay, <laughs> two and a half. But um, um, like uh, um, what I've noticed is the more kind of not unhinged shit you say, but out there shit you say will get you a response because I'm telling you right now, for all men who are on a dating app, don't say hi, how are you, or hi, what's up, because she's scrolling through you. Every other guy said that. Say That's something true. crazy like, "Yo, I just ate my brother in the womb," type shit, yeah. and you'll get a response. I, I went on his hinge. And I wanted to like practice, you know. I wanted to see like how how easy it is. Yeah. It? You know what what what's something that I could say that can get a response? Because yeah, everybody's saying hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. You know. And some like clearly some dudes are gonna have bigger dicks than you. So if I had to choose to respond to somebody that said hi, how are you? I would choose the guy with the biggest dick, and that's probably not you, bro. So, um, yeah. I said and it's fine. You know I, what? I started you know what? a message yeah. with yeah. my mom is dead skull face, and she was like, like. Oh, I'm so sorry. You seem cool though. Mm -hmm. Like I've said, I'm very, I'm very out there with with the messages. But this only applies if you have pretty privilege. Because imagine like a fat Discord mod was like, my mom's dead skull face. You'd be freaked out. L. So actually, that's not good. Advice. I mean, dude, me compared to the white men, I don't really have a, I don't really have a chance. My niche, my niche, my niche is that's very. That's not true. That's also, not true. You would not go up to someone at a bar and go, "My mom is dead." As you're opening no, line, I would. Well, he would, and it would. Okay, work. you're what? different. This, and it would work. <laughs> this conversation would should work. not be with you. <laughs> you would. <though. laughs> but like, because I think the more out there you are, it it works, and then you segue it into a date. Yes, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be different. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like, in in the grand scheme of things, um. You can say whatever you want to say, but also you're not inclined to reply. Yeah. Because the 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 structure, the social structure of dating apps is so more lax. You don't have to do anything. There's there's no rule that says you have yeah. to reply. Uh, I mean, uh, we're getting into uh, scores and how dating apps work later, but like that's why ghosting happens, right? Yeah. Because then I don't have to reply. You get lost in your DMs, and that's why people are getting like if you get stood up on a date. On, on a dating app, you're much more inclined to stand someone up on a date. I mean, not to say that I stand people up or we send people on dates, but like, you get like, I've been stood up on a date off hinge, Ooh. right? Wait, but, where you pull up and they're just not there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. But you, I feel like you're, you're so much more likely because there's less of an immediate social consequence of you sending up someone on a date. Say you meet someone in class and you establish that relationship, like, hey, we're going to meet at this time, let's do it. Um, I th there's more guilt involved, whereas and you still gotta whereas, see them in class. Yeah, or or like because you establish that face to face rapport. Where on a dating app, subconsciously, maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously, you just see them just as a game. You just see yeah, them as, as a profile. That you're you're just you're just a thing on my phone. You're not a real person. They are real people, but you you don't really think of them as real it's people. It's hard to grasp. Exactly, it's just words on a screen. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. And there's so many options. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I just think I just think Crazy Riz is the play. It, you have crazy, to stand out. Crazy Riz is the play if you have the physical features to make it the play. You, like, if you're ugly and you say, okay, one thing I also said was, would you rather, like, eat blended jeans or, like, slap the shit out of your mom? And that got a reply, too. But if it was, like, some, like, 2 out of 10, like, Discord mod, that wouldn't work. Right? But, like, since you have this cute bunny persona, bottom-ass energy... So cute. So people are going to reply to that. Right? And the thing is, you have to be memorable, is my advice for people. Absolutely. Because, I don't, I don't know, some people, are, they're scared to ask somebody out, and it's it's not memorable if you're just texting. Yeah. Like, being memorable is, like, the biggest thing. The same thing with, like, fucking job interviews. Yeah. Know? Just, like, rizzing. You just have to be memorable. I just, you need to riz your boss, but not romantic riz. It's, I need this, I need the money riz. <laughs> it's Bumble Business riz. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this guy would know. This Xiaoyong guy would know. I, we should get on Bumble Business as beer sauce and just fucking... Make a group Remote. profile. But then if you have a, p- a picture of both of you guys, they're, they're going to think, oh, they're a couple looking for a threesome. Whoa. Which really, this is what this is, though. Well, we got the cameras. How we, much we, would we you do that couch. for? Have a threesome with you? Yeah. I, what would happen is I would I would have the threesome, but then I would like ditch the other person and just start fucking you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said how much, bro? <laughs> Not for so free. Bad, oh my bro, fucking god! <laughs> oh my fucking god! How much would I have to have a threesome with you for? Yeah. Who's the other well, person? What boundaries Ryan? would we need? No, no, no. It's a girl. It's oh, it's like the, um, it's like <laughs> mom. It's, it's 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 Judd Apatow's daughter. Oh, okay. From King of Sand Island. Um. Well, we would. We what boundaries would we need? No looking at each other in the eyes. No, we're only allowed to high five twice. <laughs> only while it's twice. Happening. But wait, what do you do? This is why three. Oh, you can I'm run a, an I'm Eiffel even... Tower. Because the thing is, threesomes and porn are not real. So, like, what do threesomes look like? Like, what I, I've never, I've never. I don't want to be a part of, of a three. I would, I would not want to be part of a threesome. I don't think I would do with another guy. I feel like I'd just be hella What's gay. What's the stat? <laughs> I, I, I want to know the stat. How many people like? I, I, how, how many one in 100 people or how many people in 100 people have been in a threesome i don't think that many and That's if we've and if and if we know anyone who's secretly been in a threesome probably just don't tell us like you think he's never been in a threesome yeah suck my dick no way <laughs> he's like 70 <laughs> he would be in a threesome. <laughs> yeah, okay he would be in a threesome. <laughs> okay well once you get older when you're when you're 70 80 years old you know experiment i'll try anything more. you're gonna experiment more you're about to die you're trying to get the full life yeah experience. i want to get dicked once like once like, J- strap on i don't want to have to do this but <sighs> oh, step no. up to the plate if i die without a gay experience i feel like that's bad Why'd you look at? But don't look at me. Like I feel that. like there, there's been a handful of gay experiences that can fill a lifetime of gay experiences within like the last week of what you guys just did. What do we do, bro? Bro, this guy just, in the same toilet. Right, 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 Not right, gay. right. This guy just went. This guy just went. I really want to have a gay experience before I die. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he just did to me, you know, Ryan. We were two days ago. We were peeing in the same toilet. Yes. Okay. And dude. this guy pissed on my foot because I was because like I lost. Because I wasn't looking down. You didn't have to do that, mate. I wasn't looking down. I could have lived without that one. I wasn't looking down, so I didn't want to see your dick, which means I don't know, like, the trajectory of my stream, like, based on view. I can only, like, feel it. And when I pulled my dick back, it fell on your, your sock. <laughs> this isn't satire, either. This is, like, what you I, it's, it, You guys saw it on the beer sauce story. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> we should get a Jamie. You can like, sit right there. there. We should get a Jamie. Like instead of you googling the staff, how many people are in Jamie? Pull that up. You fucking get Jamie to do it. Okay, Juno, pull that up. Juno, can you get that one for us? (laughs) Yeah, because Juno would be the perfect. Because he would say like one thing, he would just shut the fuck up for the whole episode because he doesn't talk that much, and he would say, (laughs) "Well, it's true. It is true." Okay, what were we talking about, Ryan? Dating apps. We're just talking about uh, dating apps or like depersonalizing experiences. No, well, I think that's become a norm. I'm gonna check my notes. Or not even a norm. Sorry, I think that's become like. that's like okay. changed. So that's changed I your wanna, perception. No, I want to go back to what you said about how the white man's always going to beat you. That's not true. Ryan, this fucking... Okay, first of all... I can't compete with a lot of these No, dude, problems. you don't even know. Have you been on a girl's Tinder? Or any uh, dating app? Like, rare, though. Dude, no. the fucking... You have no challenge, bro. <laughs> I fucking promise you. Like, I went on um, Julie's Tinder once, and I've been on people's, like, dating apps the guys on there i fucking promise you like 
they are not any competition. Like the dudes on, t I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna say Tinder because it's more flammable. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna act out my Tinder experience. Swipe. Oh, abs first picture. No face. What the fuck? Oh, abs. Oh, uh, Indian dude with Uggs. Um, <laughs> Damn. And then it's just like, oh, a Mario cosplayer. Like these people are no competition and a lot of the white dudes on tinder sorry sorry if this is you but nobody really fucks with your abs bro like i don't well i, I, don't I think care. it's she's sending a message of just use me for my body because i want to use you your body well he's kind of sent a message he's setting like the the standard of only swipe is it swipe right if you like them yeah, yeah. only swipe right if you want this if you want this six pack on your shit bro well i mean it's also like the dudes that do that are known for like Dude, like, let me just put it in, like, real fast, bro. <laughs> it feels it's just, better without a condom, babe, yeah. please. And so, like, if you purposely do that, you're basically setting yourself up to be grouped in with that type of person. Yeah. I send, there's an Instagram page called Hinge Boys. Then I send oh, Nico, you send to me, yeah. I send Nico, like, reels and, and screenshots of just, like, the most cringe hinge, pro hinge profiles. Like, they're, they're really bad. And so Nico's like, dude, there's, the competition is like, non-existent here. And like, and you're like, oh, well, how come, how come we don't get as many matches, whatever, whatever, and, and, and the reason for that is the, the amount of profiles that you are shown, vice versa, male and female, um, it's not an equal randomized pool. What the app shows you is a curated list Ooh. based on it's, it's an invisible point system. Wait, this is such a good TikTok clip. Oh my god. Yeah, and so don't fucking ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> and so. If you're if you're familiar with like the sweaty video game term, it's called Elo rating. MMR. Or... We have so many video game references today. I'm we sorry. come off like I red flag. But you know what? Dating apps now it basically is a game. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, there's there's an Elo system, right? You are awarded points based on how you use the app, and if you use the app correctly in the way that the developer wants you to use it, you get points. And the more points you get, the more you are visible to the opposing sex that you want to be shown, right? Or shown to. And so if you, and this is just based off like data that I saw like on Tinder, probably like two years ago. I'm assuming it's the same, if not worse now. And I'm, I'm assuming Bumble and Hinge use the same thing or same type of system. But if you, you should be swiping right, like yes, on 75% of the people. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. And of those 75% of the people that you're swiping on, you should be messaging about the same ratio. But dude who's making this the person that's making this algorithm is like ugly because <laughs> they don't have standards 75 percent yeah, yeah that's because crazy. if you if you if you're swapping like 100 percent all the time you're a bot or you're desperate or because tinder doesn't want desperate people but tinder, tinder actually wants desperate 75 people. is desperate yeah. but that's just my opinion. yeah but if you're doing less and you're like you're not using tinder to its fullest potential and so you have to you, you have to maximize in that within that kind of the gold lock zone for you to be awarded the maximum amount of points to be shown to people who you actually want to be shown to and if you don't use tinder to the to the way, the way that they want you to and you have a poor elo score they're going to pull you with similar people who have the same elo score so you're going to be like if you're an attractive person but you're not using tinder properly they're going to show you to ugly people ugly people who have poor scores because they're not getting swept on sorry if you're ugly oh my god so <laughs> when i was on tinder and i got zero matches it wasn't because i was ugly it was just because i was xing everybody. you were just talking like an ugly person Oh, f I will. Or you're just using the app, like. Well, I mean, when I was on dating apps, I think my what, like, what are you guys' like swipe ratios? I think I go no, like, I want to say ninety to ninety five percent. Well, then you're the too time. picky, and then they, they, you're not their targeted clientele. In the in the past month, I know I'm gonna actually go in the past month and a half. I've probably sent one like on Hinge. I don't know if I think Hinge is different. That's why I, when yeah. I was when I was single, I preferred Hinge because not only uh, was it more intuitive towards like finding a relationship but like it's it, funner too yeah the people on there were it was less tindery tinder is just tinder is just like if okay if you live in vancouver you're gonna get this reference tinder is the equivalent to like the roxy nightclub it's just gross oh my god yeah, yeah. it's just gross it's cockroach play infested the roxy, like, we played at the ago? roxy a few a few days ago uh so many, grade so many moms in the pit <laughs> whoa. Season for whoa, 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 so whoa. many Cougar moms dancing to grade school, school songs anyways but yeah uh I'm assuming Hinge does do the same thing because it is a business. Like they want you to come back and do it. And I found this really interesting too. Whereas like the dating app industry, 
and I, is is the only kind of like business model aside from like maybe casinos where they disadvantage their client their their targeted clientele so mm. men being 78.1 percent of their demographic they constantly disadvantage them and hold the value of their female users because they're using like men's horniness right and the the want to be cuffed and the, the want to fuck and so they're disadvantaging their large clientele to enforce them to keep on using the app more and more and more similar to casino right and then they fucking start buying like like um more likes and shit and then yeah. subs like tier three tinder sub what's up a tier three oh like tinder black or whatever it's called what tinder the- black what is tinder black it's i think it's like it lets you see who likes your order or you have like infinite likes or i know you get like roses and stuff you can get roses on yeah, hinge. hinge. you can get roses on hinge right yeah. no yeah it, i mean if you pay money for the game like you can just get more bro there's pay to win it yeah. is pay to win yeah i mean like because t- uh, like what hinge only lets you like say like like swipe yes to like 10 people at day or really shit, right i don't think i've ever hit the max maybe like twice yeah. i've hit the max i don't think i've like well i don't know i i feel like how can you even like okay, so let's say let's say we want to use the app like how it's made 75 percent. that's like and let's say we don't want to swipe yes on an above like a lower than a five out of ten but that's like not possible like if exactly yeah 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 so like, you have to. So you, so you gotta settle. You gotta, you gotta bite the muggies. bullet and and, and <laughs> yeah. swipe yes on the ugly girls. <laughs> well, I feel like that's so. Stupid. And then they're probably swiping yes on you too. So you're. And they don't swipe yes. On yeah. <laughs> so as your likes. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be so fucking. Sorry, ugly guys too. Everyone's ugly. It's not just ugly girls. No, yeah, there's yeah. ugly everybody. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. I, yeah, it is what I it don't is. Know, from, from what I've seen on like. Um, girls dating apps is a lot of guys as well. I mean, we make fun of them. And like Roxy, like people, but Roxy people, the Roxy people, but a lot of the dudes on there, especially on Tinder, they're like, oh, I'm gonna sound like a dick. They Drop like, it. there's nothing actually Drop wrong it. with them. They're just not very attractive. Like they take, I mean, like they'll just put like this weird ass photo they took like two years ago of yeah. them on a hike with like their mom, uh-huh. and then like a weird selfie that their friends should not have let them post on <laughs> Tinder. Them holding then, a fish. Yeah. <laughs> And then they'll be like, why don't girls want me? And it's like, you're wearing like a Bass Pro Shops hat in this photo. And like, nobody fucks with that anymore. I think the perception of what they think women want to see and they think is attractive is completely like wrong. And listeners are going to be like, what the hell does this guy know about what women want? But we're going to tell you. He knows. Look, guys, he clearly knows. Look how cute he is. Look how cute and handsome he is. He clearly knows. We're going to tell you what guys are looking for on dating apps because what is, what is your your listener demographic? Oh, it's more it's more it's more women. Yeah, men, right. Like, very, like definitely. Shout out to the woman. Shout out to. Yeah, let's go. We're allies. <laughs> OK. The thing is, if I was on a dating app yeah. and I really. And I've, okay, this is the peak message I would get. I would fall in love instantly. Instant fall in love with one message. Oh, this is gonna be so niche. This isn't actually advice. Never mind. I was just gonna say, oh, do you like Pete Davidson? <laughs> That's so tailored towards <laughs> to only you. I think I don't. Well, I you guys feel like, know. Um, I don't wanna. I'm gonna think. Yeah. You know what? If you if you had a dating profile and you had a poster of Pete Davidson in the background, I would hit you up saying do you like pete davidson because it's Ooh. tailored to you what's what's like the peak date for you guys what's the peak first date that you would like to be asked out on peak first date well i know um only once have i been asked out on the date oh that's so fucking it's stupid. usually I me asking mm-hmm. and it's not like i'm diving in instantly but i am like yo let's pick up the pace let's get off the app let's stop wasting our fucking time yeah right so i kind of i don't rush the process along but i kind of hit in the butt to make yeah. it go quicker i think you right? deserve more people to ask you i think that's it's, it's such a weird balance of like yeah if the girls don't do it also like what's the um, when you go on a date and you ask then you have to pay too and you have to plan it and you have to I'm plan a, it i've i've actually i've always planned the date i think actually or I know actually no maybe once I've usually planned it most it, of the time I plan it because you come off so strong when you hit when you hit someone up right away does that kind of set the power dynamic and like the precedent of like oh if he's oh. my mom died skull emoji would you rather eat shredded jeans or, or slap your or mom slap your you're mom. like hmm he's probably gonna ask me out because he's a he's a very forward individual yeah and I, and I'm okay with that like I'm I'm okay with that 
I'm totally fine with the norm. I guess it's because I'm used to it. But just re- up reflecting upon, I've only once have I ever been asked out, and only once have I not planned uh, exactly what we're gonna do. What's your first date? What's your perfect first date? I know Derek asked that. We perfect don't. first yeah. date, or like, yeah, where, where, where would you take me if if I'm if we matched? I like to switch it up because I get bored. Like you can only run the cat cafe like once every two months. Because the boys are going to recognize you like, yeah, yeah. buddy, another girl? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been like eight months still. <laughs> like, holy shit, Jesus man. Christ. But you can only run that so many times, yeah. right? Yeah. And I like to one. switch it up. Like, it gets boring. It's a very repetitive... Dating is a repetitive process. Yeah. And it it's not exhausting. Okay, but you find the perfect one. You Perfect date. Like, you need to... You're like, I can't fuck this up. You Where can't do I fuck take it her? up. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to pull out so many stops, like Stanley Park, like then go get drinks. These afterwards. sound like adventure dates, like part one, part two. Yeah, these part are three. like these are like full days. No, yeah, these like are a like, carriage. Like no, a horse okay, carriage. I, no, that's like a third date kind of thing. Going no, on a full first adventure. date, number one. Oh, maybe. Where are we gonna talk about? What do you do for school? No, what I I like ask them like are there if their parents <laughs> are married or not. Like that's what I ask you, a little bit. <laughs> do you think it's socially? Re- Let's say I'm in I'm in the dating scene. Yeah. And you think it's socially responsible for me, for me to like talk about my past so they know I'm fucked up? I think it's important yeah. to <laughs> third date. I thing. think we should okay. normalize um you kind of letting me know what the fuck is up with your brain because I, I think to, to, to warn me. I want not on the first date. Not you sit on the down first with someone date. and go. By the way, I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, I would okay. go. Well, not, say a, that. not on the first date, say- but it. I would like to like I if I'm going to commit to you. And we're going to be partners and we're aiming to like have a, a long lasting like year plus relationship. Yeah. I would like to know maybe some of your past um experiences with other partners. Yeah. Maybe why did they that's end true. or yeah, what happened? Of course. That's right? like that. That's like a third, fourth date. Yeah. Thing. That's important because yeah. I think like if you cheated on someone or if you were cheated on, I would like to know that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I f- yeah. That's a pretty big one to like tell someone early too, and if yeah. not, if they're if they're even gonna tell you if they've cheated on exactly. someone, like I like my fuck is like I've been on dates with people when they've had boyfriends, and then I didn't know until like what three, three yeah. months in, and I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? my husband doesn't know I'm here right now. <laughs> yeah, and she like didn't tell me. I was like, what the fuck? Like I didn't know you have a boyfriend of two years. You know what I would do? Well, I would get his Instagram message and go, hey man, I, 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 I gotta let you I know. Think he knew. Hmm? Wait, did, did he figured it out definitely you think he figured it out he definitely knew. i would definitely let him know i'm like hey i had i had no <laughs> idea that i went out on a date with your girl today just letting you know she's out there i'm i didn't do no, nothing she, no, she broke she broke up with him to date me and then i was like but she was going on dates with you while yeah, with him while with him but and he I, didn't know he didn't know i didn't know either but, but i didn't you, know you met her off like, a dating app? no i saw her in person and oh. then I ran after her, asked for her number. I don't know why that was. That was that was just a very fun time in my life for a second. Oh, I thought it was like on a dating, like like she was on a dating app while she still had a boyfriend and like that. That would no, be fucking that... weird. I know people like that. Who drop it? I'm not dropping it. <laughs> you don't know them, but like okay. I'm I'm aware. Like like I was gonna say like, you guys shit. like I'm, okay, okay. Maybe they're on an they're in an open relationship, and I don't know that. I would like to know these, and and the thing is, they probably won't tell you on the first date. But I need. Oh, like, they won't tell I you would on the first date love for sure. to know that right away. First date is what's your favorite color. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> like to, yeah, I like Pete. to go into. Yeah, what do you talk to? What do you, what do you talk about? Well, you can go okay, for the me? basic. Oh, I want these chicken wings. <laughs> Did you know ch- <laughs> chick? They must kill a lot of chickens because you know chickens only have two wings. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's like my go-to awkward line it's like oh i didn't even think about that i didn't even think about wait that either. wait because at nando's you can get a 20 wing piece. nobody that's yeah. 40 chicken bro oh wait no that's 10, 10 chicken, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... okay that's 10 wow I, dude i just eliminated 10 chicken for me to get full Ooh, that's, that's a lot of chicken <laughs> that's all it took. are there more chickens than like humans the uh if you stacked every chicken like in a row, you get to the moon and back. What? A- like there's that many chickens. Yeah, but I don't know, like how far the moon is. That's like- a lot of fucking chickens, bro. <laughs> yeah, like-, <laughs> like the moon does. Like I can like see it. Don't even see that far. Like right there. Like, I can fucking see it. You know what I mean? If you're a girl, and you wanna <laughs> take a chicken. guy out on a date, you ask them. Cause I like we. I mean, you have only been asked out once, and how did that make you feel? Uh, I felt like did you pre. Did you pre come? <laughs> No, yeah. I gotta go clean up your back, guys. What all men want is to actually be wanted, right? Yeah. Because 
I think I think that's a big insecurity of men, and they want to feel wanted. And you have if, if, this guy probably felt so gassed up when he got asked on a date, but ninety yeah. percent of the time, ninety nine percent of the time, you're asking the other person. Mm -hmm. it, if you that ask is true. a man, we, yeah. we're gonna be gassed up and we're gonna fucking fall in love with you. That is true. Like if you're constantly just doing the work like <clears throat> the entire time, yeah. like yes, gender roles are a thing; they're very real. But like, like if if you show interest. Damn, that, gonna you, want you, you instantly stand up. I'm I'm gonna remember that you showed some sort of interest. Yeah. Okay. A girl that I was dating just told me when she was free. She's like, oh, by the way, I'm free from Monday to Thursday. And I was like, let's Wait, go. You're making time for me? Let's <laughs> go, bro. And <laughs> the, that, that was no, like, like yeah. that was so I gas. I know exactly for me. how you feel. That was so unbelievably gas for me. And I yeah, it's 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 not sad. It's like a thing. I think we're all used to yeah, it. Take right? initiative. Yeah, that would be gas. But I understand it's like scary. It's scary for me. And I take initiative yeah. all the fucking time. Right. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. What would you guys do if you got flowers from like, um, I don't know, second, third date? On a for I no lie. Like Maybe I would have to carry date. them around a lot. It would be a bit annoying. Yeah. But if you were a normal guy. Whoa. I think that, that's like, holy okay, shit. You bad. thought of me? You thought of me? What like the that. fuck? I think I think bring like and then they fucking carried it around for you, so you don't have to carry it around. I, I, wait, ha, have you ever received flowers? No. Yeah. Never. I have never received flowers, but on a second date, a girl brought me a head of cauliflower. That's funny. That's awesome. Yeah. That's I'm really. Like, oh, funny. that's I'm always I'm gonna remember this <laughs> because it's like oh, huh, cauliflower, cauliflower. Get it? Flowers, cauliflower. I like that. I think there could have been more. Because you yeah, thought because yeah. if <laughs> the first time you thought about it or the first time she gave it to you, you're probably like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? And she goes, it's a cauliflower. I got you flowers. I'm like, I think holy I think shit. Well, it's just it's these. Well, I think carrot. I think what the underlying thing is. Yeah, the underlying thing is these little things that show you care and or kind of stripping about. that plain hard to get yeah. um yeah. uh drape down like just get rid of that cloth and throw it down and show hey I actually give a shit I actually want to spend time with yeah, you and exactly. it really motivates. The man to be like oh my god i actually really like this person yeah and it's a f this is a fucking fun time it's gonna um incline you to speak to them more and be more into it dude getting a man is easy guys like it's not that hard. Yeah. it's, so not, it's really easy. not that if hard you to literally do the bare minimum that a man does like if you ask him on a date you buy him flowers that's like no no women don't do that if you do that it's so easy all the listeners it's so but once easy. again once again these are like that's like that's such a it's it's so uh, like that's such a stray away from the norm that that is set right now it, it can be scary to do that I think, uh, it, and i understand i understand why they don't be. i understand why people don't do that yeah men want to be princesses sometimes yeah, i, I want to be a little spoon or, yeah. i want to live like a, i want to live like a wagyu steak every once there's in a, a lot while. more <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more bottoms these days you know just oh i think for me um like like the oh you should point at him when you said bottom dude everyone calls this guy bottom like in the tiktok Bro, comments whenever we comments. post something on like the uh whenever there's a photo of me on the instagram story like there's at least three people that fucking swipe up and then say baby girl so baby girl and then send yeah. it to me i'm like Geez. this guy radiates bottom energy you know what? I'm cute. I'm a little bunny. Yeah. I'm snuggly. Exactly. It's good. I'll, embr I'll, embr I I'll embrace my traits. Yeah. Fuck it. So I'm just going to point to all the, the female listeners and watchers because I know that's like 80% of you guys. Don't be afraid to double text. If you like someone, let them know. Don't play games. Fuck that. Don't play my games. Don't count your texts and how long. Oh, I, uh, he, he took 20 minutes to respond, so I'm going to take 45 minutes to respond. Just if you, show, if you like someone, just show interest. It's Easy. life short. And then if you go on a bad date, it's okay. We've all been on awful fucking dates before. Say yours. What's your bad date? What's my bad date? Actually, uh, this one was when I was, I just came out of um, my first ever relationship. It was like a year long. Uh -huh. And then a couple months later, um, went out with this girl. She was the one that asked me out. Worst fucking date oh in my, my God, entire the life. The one that was, the yeah. one who asked you out happened to be the worst date. Probably, yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, wow. no, she wasn't this the worst is... date because at least I have a story. Okay. I've been on dates with people when they are dull, like, I've been on dates with people when they don't even fucking talk. It's like, yo, I thought you came here mm -hmm. to talk to me. I'd rather you be racist and call me a jungle agent and go, <laughs> instead of not say anything. So at least I have a story. Something to talk for about. You. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. This fucking, this one girl, worst date, one of the worst dates of my life, at least I have a story. Wait, wait. She hit a dad pen on the date. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, kept, this yeah. Like, like, if you have to be high to hang out with I me think on she's a first wanted date, a free dinner, bro. I'm not going to lie. Did you pay for that shit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah she asked. To. Yeah. I've been on dates where like I like so what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And she's like, I like to go to the mall. Like why would you go? Why like like 
if you're gonna go out with someone, someone try to be yeah. interesting, like be interesting. a little bit, yeah. like a little Just pretend, bit. pretend to be interesting. Yeah. Those, the worst dates, the worst dates are the ones that are that are are the ones that where nothing happens, and I'm giving ninety percent of it. Like yeah. if you're carrying that shit, only like there's only been a couple instances, and these are the ones that completely take me off guard when they're asking me so questions you're so as well. Podcast build. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Isn't it so sad that? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm podcast build, no, bro. Just like I, I do the same thing. Like if something is not living up to how like fulfilling a conversation is on here, I feel like it's boring. No, nope. it's just reciprocity. Well, if you're being reciprocal and you're being present in the date, yeah, then that's that's great. Well, if I have to give. 75 to 80 percent of the conversation yeah. i'm not ever going to go on a second date with you i've been on dates where i'm doing 95 percent yeah, of the talking i know everything about them and they know nothing about me because they didn't ask anything then they're like yo let's go hang out again it's like what the fuck do you even know like like what's my like what school did i go to they don't even know right and i know everything about them because i was doing so much of the talking this. maybe they prepped so they actually beer know. sauce has fucked me sometimes bro because the date wasn't like a podcast no because they've listened and then they reference it like oh. on the date and i don't even know you should listened. have a burner instagram account like a fake name and use that shit so no, then... but he's trying to get clout yeah but yeah. then <laughs> get the followers up you know <laughs> but then you you keep your dating app nico separate from your beer sauce nico i mean and then two, two dates and you go hey I'm honestly like, you know, i rather, actually... rather them know that i am pretty out there with yeah. the things that i do just because it's like you Google me, you can find out pretty much anything about me, right? And um, I've had instances where I kind of expect, I don't expect them, but I hope that they don't listen to like five episodes of Beer Sauce and know everything. But I've had instances when yeah. that goes down and then we go out on the date and then she like references episodes. And I'm like, that's really weird. It's bro. like, like that's yeah. crazy. It's like, how the fuck did you But know also that? at the same time, I put it out on the internet. Yeah. What else can I expect, that's right? True. That's true. But, but I, well, no, I, th I think it's, when I first started dating Bella, the first thing, I mean, one of the, like when she found out that we do beer sauce, it's sort of like I had to set a boundary. Like, I want you to get to know me through me and not through my podcast. Yeah. So you can't listen to these. Me like, and my me and my ex had a rule where once I feel like I gained enough information about her, I could let her listen to a new episode. Yeah. And we kind of had an oh. agreement like that. And I, I think that was perfect. But That's, then I, I kind of like that. And then sometimes you get people that like listen to five episodes and then go out with you. Or sometimes you get people on the dating app that go, oh my God, I love your podcast. This guy fucking. I've had that like three, yeah, four times you, now. You got in that like, Beer Sauce podcast. Like, wait, yeah. like they actually listen to Beer Sauce before they match with you? And, and then they, they go, I love your podcast. And I'm like, that's. It's like happening. like they recognize you from the yeah. podcast. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. The worst dates you can go out on is where nothing happens and the other person is so boring and you are just like, oh, I went on a date with a girl like uh, maybe like a month ago and I called it after an hour and a half. How, and she was like, oh her? God, yeah. yeah, she was thrown <laughs> off. She was really thrown off. I was like, yo, so I, the, the soft launch is always, so what's your transit home? I always oh, say that when I kind of want to call that's it. That's really yeah. good. And after an hour and a half. Wait, say what is or when is? What's your transit home? No, that's the equivalent oh. to. Yeah, that's that the equivalent, right? So <laughs> I wish I knew that, man. That's really smart. What if they don't get it? Oh, then I just what like. What if they can't read the room? When's your transit home? I'll come down with you. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, the, the, and I call it after an hour and a half. I'm like, you're not giving me anything. Yeah. You're like the most uninteresting person I've ever oh. met in my entire life. And she's listening. Yeah. I'm like, you, you want it to be reciprocal. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I usually do most of the talking. You want to feel like they're interested in you. Yeah, I think that's like a big problem because, like, I don't know, I'm girls shy. don't send the first message. Girls don't plan the date. Then they don't even fucking ask about you. It is what it is. We, then, that's why you go next. That's why you go next. Yeah, that's why men are so easy because you show interest. This motherfucker. Oh, you got me. You yeah. got me. If you, if you, if you like. I mean, my tip for like going on dates you... is have pre-written questions about somebody. So when it gets awkward, when it's quiet. You know what questions you're gonna ask. You just pull them out of your pocket. Well, no, no, you think about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, <laughs> like, I, I just take things that, like, they've said to me before, and then I yeah. relapse into new questions. I went on a date with one girl, and um, this is my this is my kind of like go to worst first date story. Um, her parents were immigrants, right? And so, she, oh fuck, that's already bad. No, well, I mean, your parents are immigrants. My parents are immigrants. My mom's an immigrant. Yeah, but like. Having immigrant dating someone with immigrant parents is like scary sometimes. I've only dated people with immigrant yeah, parents. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. Anyways, so she was she's first generation, and so her parents can't read or speak a lick of English at all. Oh, and so the daughter, and I think she was an only child, 
she would have to just she did all their like credit card cell phone uh water gas bills oh my gosh, she was a fucking manager <laughs> right so she was because she's the one who, who could speak english and read english right yeah. and you know immigrant asian parents no you can't go out tonight you 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 have to be home by this time whatever whatever and so what she would do is she would threaten her parents saying i'm gonna cut off your cell phone bill if you don't let me out tonight. Ooh, that is fucking smart also all immigrant parents that are asian are helicopter parents not Besides my mom. this guy, you're the only how, one. How not. I perceived that was, if you blackmail your parents, what the fuck are you going to do to me? But, but no, 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 no. Hold on. But her parents are probably psycho but a little that's bit. That's like, because bro has a helicopter parent and he's a good man. Did you threaten to cut off their electricity no. bill? No. <laughs> you don't let me do what I want to do? Uh, sometimes you got to do what I get it. I get it. Yeah. Well, I get it. It's like, well, you have a helicopter parent. If your parents are like Asian immigrants, they're probably really interesting to talk to <laughs> can, can we get them on the podcast yeah because i don't know if you're a helicopter parent that means some fucked up shit happened to you mm -hmm. like your like sister like, like, ran over by a tank or something. but that's also you... just like a, like standard asian culture though like to be really overbearing on your kid and overbearing can cause trauma and it just sure. makes you dislike yeah. your parent and yeah. so, so hurt people hurt people and so she just became very angry and very like very like aggressive all the time that was i only went on oh, one the... day with her i didn't want to go hmm? Oh, wait, did she become aggressive on the first day? Well, just like how she was just talking about how, like, she treats her, like, parents and stuff. It just, like, it seemed like they had a very, like, hostile relationship. And she was, like, trying to, like, play it off as, like, cute. Like, hee hee. Oh, I'm quirky. I'm different. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you don't tell it until that's the third day, That's why you don't fuck date, with bro. me. Hee <laughs> hee That's why you wait. So then you're, like, wait, so was that your worst date? That was probably my, one of my, like, worst dates. And, and then, and then, um. Because you have two and a half like, years, what race bro. Was she? She's, she's Filipino. Oh. oh. The smiling Jackson, people. Jackson. Yeah, and then, uh, she was like. I think we went to go like get dessert something. Oh, okay. Can we stop at the at the, at the library? Go, why? Goes, oh, I, I'm I'm buying something off Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah, why? That's how, dude, dude. That's happened to me. Hey, that why do you people too? go on dates oh and then do chores with me? I know. I, I went on a date with a girl. She's like, oh, I have to do my school project what? on the date. I'm like, when? What? This was this was like, what were you doing when she said that? We we went to the art museum. She's like, you want to go to the art museum? I was like, sure. And she planned the date. And then she did her school project. Oh my! And I was like, God. I was just like there. You just like stood there, just like yeah. And she was doing her fucking school project. And then she asked me, "So what's your vibe? What are you into, man?" I was what like, "I'm." I said, "I'm not into you, bro." Oh my, oh my God. God! My vibe is not whatever it is, whatever you are. It's the work, dude. Like fuck, that triggers something. Also, don't that's ask, really funny. Don't ask op such open questions because most people don't want to answer. Like what? Like who are you? What the I fuck? don't fucking it's know not who a I job. am. It is a job interview, but it's not a serious so job interview. So, what's your story? Yeah. So, uh, why are you? Like, if you like ask me my story, you you're gonna leave this date. I promise you. I'm gonna fucking be weird. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay. My worst first date. I've only. I don't. I haven't had a bad first date because a lot of the time, I don't go on like first dates off apps. You don't date people, bro. Well, my first ever date. I think we. What the fuck did we? I think we went to Metro Town. Classic. But I was like 16. Classic. Walmart or like super supermarket sushi. Yeah. Did you go to the arcade too? No. I was broke. Damn. You know, I already quarters? paid for sushi, man. You know, funny, funny sushi story one time. Um, So I was on a date with this beautiful young woman and um, and we got sushi and I don't Did like I fish. I wonder who you're going to get married to. I'm sorry. I just had to say that. I don't believe in marriage. Yeah, but you're telling Common me you're law? never gonna f fall in love with somebody so much that you might believe in marriage, dude. I think you guys I th are basically married. But like, okay, no, I think getting married is weird, and I think having kids is immoral. What? Yep. Save the planet. I think having kids is immoral. Are yeah. you telling, dude? Are you telling me what? I don't care if you're gonna love your kid. If you like, as an example, if like you live in a country where there's a lot of war, I don't think you should have a kid. Because yeah, that kid's gonna have a really hard life. Oh, that life. kid's gonna fucking have to fight. That kid's gonna have to He's fight have in the war. Enlist. If you, I don't care how much, I don't care how much you love your kid. If you were to birth a child and you knew that they would have a very difficult life, would you still have the kid? And if the answer is yes, you don't actually love your kid that much. Mm, that's 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 a good point because that's a Shao like, Yong take. Bro. That is a, that is one of. I'm I, so I, dare. I, I, I do agree honestly because if I was like in the army and I was like fucking having a child in like the middle of the war field and i knew that kid would be like birthed in the prison and turn out to be like bane yeah i don't want to make a super villain i want my kid to have a good life yeah <laughs> so i think you should only have a kid not because you're trying to save your marriage not trying not because you're too bored and you I want, want a, a new challenge hey no fuck i think you should have a kid 
if you can set them up for success, you have dealt with all your past trauma that you won't put onto them. And you want, and you can set them up to genuinely have a great shot at a wonderful life. My girlfriend wants three kids. You know what? One of those three will have a good life, bro. And the other two okay. are gonna. <laughs> the other two end up on the streets. <laughs> I'm having a. I'm giving my kid nepotism. Yeah, I'm giving my kid nepotism. One of them. You, why did you just make it sound like it was a genetic disease that you could give a kid? <laughs> <laughs> that made it sound like a genetic. Well, no, disease like if this shit works it. out, my kid's gonna be the next host. Yeah, you know, I'm setting my kid up. Mm-hmm. There's us. There's us too. My See? Kid up so I think if you were gonna have a kid that under those circumstances, it's gonna. I think yes, it it, it should be. It, you have go. Feel free to mate, bro. Feel free to mm. not pull out. Well, in like ancient China, you'd have kids because it's more hands on the farm. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's why you have like nine of them. Yeah. So in my opinion, you don't actually love your fucking kid. You just want. Well, it. before it was survival. Now you, we people having less kids because before you want as much like income as you can because you get like a cent a day. Also, child mortality. Like, you know, how many kids are gonna die before the age twelve? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now it's like you want a high value kid send him to fucking Harvard and shit. If you if it's too cold where you are and there's no heat and the baby dies every year, don't have another baby to die. Look at the evidence. You can't raise a kid. <laughs> yeah. Look, bro. Yeah. You clearly don't know what the fuck is up. You know what? I think for all parents that have fucked their kids up, I think we need to show them a place where they can improve their relationship with their kids and also um, send their kids and, to a place where there's very healthy mm-hmm. role models. And you know what? I think there's a great specific Instagram and TikTok account that we should send these children to. But for some reason, I'm blanking on the name. Mm-hmm. Well, th- this this Instagram and TikTok account has been closely related to the Big Brother program. You know, it's very influential. They do a lot of charity work, a lot of work for the community. Mm-hmm. It's B-E-E-R-S-O-S-P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Beer Sauce Podcast on TikTok and Instagram. Check out the Beer Sauce what? Podcast to keep up with highlights, lore, and what's going on in the Beer Sauce world. Ryan, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Shout Holy out Grade shit. School. Check out Grade School. Grade School. Album yeah. recently just dropped and the vinyls are out. So go to like Neptune Records to buy them. Um, do, 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 do. Any last Not words us. before we want to end today's episode? I'm just so happy to be back. It's always a pleasure to have to have me on. Um, we, we got a few more stuff on the pipeline. The fans, the fans do love Ryan. We got fans. The, you fans, got fans. Dude. I've got like people have messaged us specifically, or even like in the Spotify when you can swipe up to do the Q and A. People are like, "Oh, we love Ryan. We love Ryan and the things Q and A on Thanks, mom. Yeah. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Kiss to the camera, bro. What up? <laughs> Beer sauce.